<laughs> What's going on, guys? What's up to all my chow mains? Um, last night was New Year's. Happy New Year's. It's the first of 2024 right now. We're uh, we're going to Pedmark. Vicky's been uh, kind of waiting for this the entire year. They have this pucker pow there with some fermented, what's it, fermented pork? Fermented sausage? For me, yeah. Yeah. Ma'am. Ma'am. She loves it. Let's go to Pedmark. Two for Etumai. Etumai for two, 56. Uh, if you guys are trying to go to uh, Pedmark, the best way to get there is uh, the BTS Skytrain, Ekamai Station. Uh, it's like right down the street. That's where we go. Like at my station. Is it too? Oh no, man. I don't know if I want to wait for this line. The last time we were here, there's no way. I'm not really trying to wait. This might not happen today. Wow. Did this place get more popular? Oh, it's all Asians. What do you think, Vickers? We'll see what this girl says. Man. Uh, uh. Alright, well, unfortunately, there are way too many people there. We're not gonna do that today. Um, we'll wait till later in the week when there's no way. That's crazy. We uh, we just stopped by the 7 Eleven to go get some waters uh, to go eat at Pet Mark. And I was like, why are there so many people here? I think everybody has the same idea. They all stop by 7 Eleven and they go wait in line at Pet Mark. Not this time, Mark. Not this time. Well, since uh, Pet Mark was no go, we're we're back here at the BTS station. Uh, we're gonna go down two stops. There's a new mall that just opened up not too long ago called M Sphere. Uh, my brother was there yesterday. He said the food is really good there, and it's supposed to be a really cool floor with a lot of like gadgets and stuff, which I'm absolutely into. So uh, that's our next move. Oh, they got the red carpet out. Alright, we are at Emsphere, guys. Uh, first things first, <laughs> we gotta find the food court. Eat. Then we'll uh, take a walk around and what is that? see what we can find. What is going on here? <laughs> this place is crazy. We're not gonna get to uh, try as much of the things that we wanna try, but. Uh, we're gonna do some chicken rice. This place looks pretty good. It's pretty fast also, so I see so we got some uh, Northern sausage from one of the other stalls here uh, It's pretty good. It's a little spicy. I think the texture could be a little bit better It's a little too ground up What do you think? I like it. Oh, we like it it was uh, 65 baht for 100 grams. Uh, it's pretty cheap, like two bucks. Now we're waiting on some chicken rice. Oh. Swati cup. Uh, fat chicken rice, M sphere. This place is crazy. Um, we ended up getting. Uh, Technically, two dishes with sides: uh, crispy fried chicken and poached chicken, and braised pork belly with moi um, uh, choy. So, like fermented mustard greens, I think is the way it is. Uh, let's dig in and try. This is a lot of food. I don't know if we're gonna be finishing this, but all right. Let me try the crispy chicken first. A little sound like this. No sauce. Let's try. This is good. 
Do you know what these different sauces are? Uh -oh. Well, this is uh, ginger. Huh? This is ginger scallion. Sweet chili. Kind of like a tamarind sauce. Ooh, I'm going for the tamarind sauce. Spicy. Um, the crispy chicken was great. The breading on it is so crispy. I love it. Let's try the poached chicken. Right? No? Kinda? Uh, this is this is just like a Hainan chicken rice chicken. You get a crispy piece. It's really good. I only got The chicken's also really good. It's pretty standard. I don't think I've ever had a bad Hainanese chicken. Probably the chicken rice. Uh, chicken rice is um, regular white rice, but it's instead of using water, they use chicken broth. Mm. Right? This like watered down ginger scallion sauce is good too. Crispy chicken is really good. All right, let me go in for uh, the pork belly here. So my mom makes this dish for us all the time. Um, but this one is extra fatty. This is all Vicky. It's good, but yours is better. Yeah. You want this one. Also very good, but... The one I ordered is on point. Other noodles. Standard. Alright, uh, the other side we got is just some egg noodles. It's pretty standard. Yeah. So after doing a little research, it turns out that the, uh, the chef owner of this place, what would you say he was like runner-up or Finalist on Top Chef Thailand. Yeah, finalist on Top Chef Thailand and uh, semi finalist on Iron Chef Thailand. Semi finalist on Iron Chef Thailand. So I guess he's pretty credible. I have no idea who he is. Uh, I guess his name is Inok. Inok. Teo. Look him up. The only critique I have about this fried chicken is I mean, it's amazing. And like, there's just the right amount of oil left on it. But it's really heavy, so after eating like half of it right now, it's like, mm, I don't know if I want it anymore, but maybe that's just me. I'm gonna power through it. Alright, this place is really busy, so that's just a quick food review. Um, I'll leave some more information later. We're gonna finish this up, continue around, looking around M Sphere. Alright, that was uh, Fat Chicken here at M Sphere. That's really good. All that food ended up costing just over $20. A little more pricey than we're used to, but that was a lot of food. Uh, we're going to continue walking around Yen Sphere now, see what we can find. Smash that like button for me. If you want to be part of the chow mains, make sure you smash that subscribe button for me. Ring that notification bell. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.